Hi folks, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Advanced Higher Physics course, both in terms of the assessment in the course and the topics covered in the course. So let's get started. Looking at this table here, you can see there are two elements of assessment in the Advanced Higher course. So the question paper and the project. Now the question paper is out of 155 marks and has a duration of three hours, and that's probably the longest exam you'll ever sit. The project as well is out of 30 marks, and we'll talk a wee bit about the duration for that shortly. We'll also talk about the scalings of the mark just now. So the question paper has a total of 155 marks, which is scaled to 120 marks. So this is scaled down and it means that each mark for the longer paper in the final exam is actually less than one mark. And this contributes 75% of the overall marks for external assessment. This is different to the final exams for the Nat 5 and the higher course because the final exams contributed 80% for the Nat 5 and higher courses. And also, unlike the Nat 5 and higher, the paper has no multiple choice questions. It consists purely of extended response questions or longer questions. The project has 30 marks and is scaled to 40 marks. So it's scaled up, which means that each mark for the project is actually worth more than one mark in the end. And this contributes 25% of the overall marks for the external assessment. It has two sections in it, just like the assignments for National 5 and higher, which are the research stage and the report stage. Now, during the research stage, you'll plan experiments, collect data through experimental work and analyse this data individually. So you're carrying out an individual project. You'll also gather information from the internet, books or journals to support your understanding of the physics underlying the project. So you're going to be carrying out your own research on three or four related experiments. Just like a real life scientist, you will be expected to keep a record of your work in a daybook. And this is basically where you will log everything that you're doing during your project, from lab results, to measurements that you're taking, to bits of research that you're finding online. And this will then form the basis of your report. So if you keep an up-to-date daybook, then you're gonna make life so much easier for you by the time you come to write up your project in the end. Now your daybook should include details of your planning, the research, experiments, and any recorded data that you're taking. Typically, there should be data collected from three or four related experiments, depending on time, and experimental work should be carried out within 10 to 15 hours. Now, the report stage involves writing up a scientific report based on your three or four related experiments, and your teacher will decide your deadlines for you. Okay, so it's not like National 5 and Higher where you're in class doing a final write-up for the report. You're probably going to do most of your writing at home and it's up to you how you want to organise that. The next thing to look at is the topics covered as part of the Advanced Higher course and we've got five topics here. So you'll see there's rotational motion, astrophysics, electromagnetism, quanta and waves. Just to break those down into their smaller subtopics, we have rotational motion is made up of three parts called kinematic relationships, angular motion and rotational dynamics. Astrophysics is made up of gravitation, general relativity and stellar physics. Electromagnetism, this is made up of fields, circuits and electromagnetic radiation. Quanta, you'll see, contains introduction to quantum theory, particles from space and simple harmonic motion. And lastly, waves, this contains waves, interference and polarisation. Some of these topics will be building on what you did in higher, but others will be brand new to you. That's all from me, folks. If you found value in this video, give it one of these and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.